Hello guys, it's Snowflake here and welcome to episode 1 of the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 AI Tournament where I do absolutely nothing and watch the characters of one of my favourite ever shows take each other on to see who the best duelist is in this game. So yeah, this is not me playing a game, although it's very close to me playing it. And eventually, oops. nope, 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 nope. How do I leave? No. Okay, good. Okay, so if you don't hurry up, the game automatically starts a duel. So. Ooh, do we have to go through the whole. Okay, cool. So. Um. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, delete. Okay. Uh, which one is select? I don't know. C, I think it was. No, V? V. V is select. is something else. I don't know. I got what I wanted, which was a capital letter. Okay, oops. Oh, why didn't it confirm that? Let's change that name. Now you're good? Okay. Uh, I think new game. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We might have to actually go through the opening cutscene. Uh, I'm not intending to play the actual game today. Um, no, okay. Okay, we don't have to start story mode. That is something I do eventually plan on doing on this channel. But for today, it will just be the AI tournament. So, yeah. We'll go straight into free duel. It will we'll be CPU spectator. Standard rules, and I can't remember exactly which characters are available. So, yeah, we have Jaden Yuki, our pro main protagonist. We have Cyrus, uh, Truesdale, Alexis Rhodes, Chaz Brinston, Tyranno Hasselberry, Asta Phoenix, Blair Flanagan, and Jesse Anderson. Um, you have to play story mode to unlock other characters. But we're gonna play the tournament with just these eight for now. So I have set up a challenge over here. So I'm gonna add all these players to the tournament. I wasn't exactly sure um, which characters would be in. Um, I thought it was a quicker way of doing this, but never mind. Oh, there's an add-in bolt button there. Okay, display name. One participant per line. Okay. So we got Alexis, Chaz. Um, Tyranno, Asta, Blair and Jesse. Chaz twice. It's the sort of rookie mistake that makes tournaments go wrong. Blair and Jesse. And we already had the other two. Okay, bulk add. Cool, we got eight participants. Um, let me just. Uh, save button. Uh, 
Let me just check there's no seeding. Advanced options. Um, All right, I think we're good. So let's go to the bracket and let's see what our first match is going to be. We're just going to play one match at a time. So, yeah. Mm. How do I get rid of seeding? So it looks like it's seeded. Sorry guys, I mean you can skip past this part to the actual duel if you want. I'm just googling it now. You know what, I think it's good enough if I just randomize the seeds and then go to bracket and start the tournament. Okay, so that's that's as, that's gonna be random anyway. So our first match of this tournament is gonna be Chaz Princeton against Jesse Anderson. Okay, so I don't think these two actually ever dueled in the anime. To be fair, I don't think Jesse dueled that many people in the school. Jaden, obviously. I don't think he really took on anyone else, if I remember correctly. Um, Chaz versus Jesse. And you also, the more you play the story mode, you unlock the other characters' decks, which I haven't done, so... They've only got one choice of deck. So Chaz versus Jesse. So Chaz is using a VWXYZ deck. I'm sorry for saying Z, that's just the way the anime says it. Heck, VWXYZ, let me correct myself, because I correct other people when they say it. I have to hold myself to the same standard as I hold everyone else. And Jesse will be running the Crystal Beast deck. Anyone who watches or has watched Yu-Gi-Oh! GX will know that. Um, hmm, who's my money on? I think I'm gonna go with Jesse. I think Crystal Abundance and Rainbow Ruins are pretty, pretty deadly combo. And I think Chaz will struggle, but without any further ado, let's get into this first quarter final. I'll do my best to commentate. I don't think I've ever commentated on a duel before. Chaz never loses because he's the one and only Chaz Princeton. Don't think I'm going to take it easy on you. I'm going all out. We know you will, Jesse. By the way, this quality is pretty good for emulated standards. Anyway, Jesse will start. And we get to see Jesse's hand. We won't get to see Chaz's, unfortunately. So he's going to start with the uh, Amber Mammoth, good choice, I would have done the same thing. And the Beast Soul Swap face down, not going to help much, I don't, I don't think. Let's see what Chaz is offering up. Oh, an X-Head Cannon, advantage Mr. Princeton, but Jesse does have the Topaz Tiger in his hand that will counter next turn. But X Head Cannon takes down Amber Mammoth and Chaz takes an early lead, a very slim one. And of course, Amber Mammoth goes straight to the Spelling Trap card zone, and that will come in handy later, I assume. A face down card for Chaz. I can't remember what trap cards Chaz runs. Now it's Jesse's turn, and he's got the MST if he wants, opts not to use it. And we'll go straight with a Topaz Tiger, of course. When Topaz Tiger attacks, it gains 400 attack, which will be high enough to take out X-Head Cannon. And there it is, Topaz Tiger.
gives Jesse an arrow lead. Uh, oh, he's going for the Beast Soul Swap play. So now he'll return Topaz Tiger to his hand and summon it back. And then that loophole allows Topaz Tiger to get an extra attack. Very well played, Jesse. And the MST will go face down. Those two crystal beacons aren't going to do much in his hand until another crystal beast goes to his spelling trap card too. Now Chaz, what has he got? He's got a premature burial. Ooh. But Jesse has the MST. It does negate in this case. And Chaz is not going to get his X head cannon back. This is not this is not bode well for Mr. Princeton. He does at least have a monster he can play face down. If that's Y Dragon Head, at least he'll be safe. No, it won't, because Topaz Tiger gains 400. What's Jesse got? Mm, nothing useful at the moment. This Topaz Tiger can still attack, and it is indeed Y Dragon Head. But Topaz Tiger gains the attack points. Chaz is struggling at the moment. He plays Ruby Carbuncle face down. Guess there's no harm if that gets destroyed. And uh, now it's Chaz. Oh, summoning Zed Metal Tank. Guess he's fed up of being on the defensive. He'll probably attack that Ruby Carbuncle. Which, by the way, is not a good idea. He'll destroy it, but it will go straight back to Jesse's Spelling Trap Zone. And now he can use his two Crystal Beacons and his Crystal Blessing. Which may well bring about the end of this duel. Or Crystal Promise. I would have done Crystal Beacons first and actually won the duel, but... Crystal Promise gets lets him summon Ruby Carbuncle from his Spelling Trap Zone. And when Ruby Carbuncle's special summoned, he could also summon Amber Mama. So it's at the very least going to do some serious damage to Chaz's life points. Right. And he's going to go for the Topaz Tiger, smart move, gains 400, takes out the Zed Metal Tank. And it will be Ruby Carbuncle to give Chaz a little slap in the face, I don't know. No one expects Ruby Carbuncle to actually attack. Amber Mammoth should pack a little bit more punch. If this was the anime, Chaz would have been knocked to the ground by now as a Mammoth crashes into him. It would be cool to one day have a Yu-Gi-Oh game that has like all the animations and is like it was in the anime. Right, Chaz plays frontline base. Ooh, Lightning Vortex, game changer. But, oh, not really, because you're just sending all of the Crystal Beasts to the Spelling Trap Card Zone. Then he can use his Crystal Beacons to get more. Oof, that's not going to help Chaz, I'm afraid. He's got a monster face down, but nothing left in his hand. And this may well be the turn that wins it for Jesse if he plays it right. Of course, you never know with the AI in this game. Oh, and he's got the Rainbow Ruins as well. Just a further cut, like put further salt into the wound. He'll play Crystal Beacon since he has two Crystal Beasts. He can summon another one from his deck. There's Ruby Carbuncle, and that will give him all the other ones back. Uh, actually, that wasn't the wisest move. He could have summoned Sapphire Pegasus or something, and then played his other Beacon to summon another ruby but yeah he chose not to go with that option so he'll do some damage but I don't think he has enough to wipe him out so there's Topaz, Amber Mammoth, Ruby Carbuncle all back damn that lightning vortex feels futile now Topaz Tiger attacks uh, I didn't see what that card was 
Oh, Charmy Yellow, not going to be very useful. Ruby Carbuncle and Amber Mana will attack directly, leaving our poor Chaz with just 900 life points. But he will gain the Destiny Draw ability, which, for anyone new to this game, if you are losing badly, get a Destiny Draw, which is when you get to draw from a preset list of basically anime draw you get whatever card you want doesn't quite work as well as it does in the anime but let's see what Chaz has drawn the swords are revealing light so he can stall for three turns will that do him any good we'll see guess he doesn't have anything I think that can counter it at the moment Alright, he'll switch his Ruby Carbuncle, an ill-advised move, there's really no need to do that if you're not going to attack with it. Chaz won't lose to no loser. But he needs to top deck some serious cards and have a monster face down. He's at least setting up a wall. I don't know if Chaz has any high enough defense monsters to stop Topaz Tiger. And I don't know if he has enough to stop two because there is Jesse's second Topaz Tiger. And he'll switch his rubies to defense mode. Jesse has run out of monster spaces, but I don't think it's going to matter. Luminous Spark. Uh, that would help. He switches Ojama Green to attack mode and Ojama Green can attack Ruby Carbuncle. Oh, and Amber Mammoth has forced Chaz to switch his attack target <laughs> to Amber Mammoth and Ojama Green just runs into a Mammoth and that's how Chaz loses this duel. I'm really surprised that AI fell for that because Oh, I don't know, am I really? But yeah, Amber Mammoth takes down Chaz's Ojama Green to win the duel and carry on to the semi-finals. I have to say, Chaz's deck is pretty limited. Like, even though he played Lightning Vortex, Swords of Revealing Light, he, he just couldn't stop Ch um, Jesse's engine of Spell and Trap Card Zone, Crystal Promise, Crystal Beacon, Jesse has so many comeback tools, and yeah, well done to Jesse. Ah, oh, ah, oh, no way, this is impossible, how could I lose? Oh, your deck's not that good, and um, your first deck in this game's not very good. Your final countdown deck, which you get later on, is very annoying. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 AI Tournament. Uh, let's submit um, Jesse Anderson's victory. Let's just report scores. Chaz nil, Jesse won. Alright, so next time we will have Cyrus Truesdale against Blair Flanagan. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.